Boys and girls, this morning we're going to read the nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty. And if you see down at the bottom there, I have some pictures of the story and they're all mixed up. So I'm going to see if we can put them back together in the right order after we read the nursery rhyme. Will you read it with me, please? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Can you tell me what happened first in that nursery rhyme? This one? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall? I agree. Let's put that one over at the beginning. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Then what happened? Yes, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. That one's in the right place, isn't it? Okay, next it says, all the king's horses and all the king's men. Oh, I think we better move that one over. I think that one should go there. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Good job, boys and girls. Did you notice when we were reading our nursery rhymes that they all have rhyming words? What are the rhyming words in Humpty Dumpty? Can you find them? Let's see. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. What are the two words that rhyme? Yes, wall. Almost lost my board there. And fall. Wall and fall are the rhyming words. Good job. Are there any other rhyming words? All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Well, those two words sound the same, men and again, but they're not spelled the same. Can they still rhyme if they sound the same, but they're not spelled the same? What do you think? Yes, they can. Men rhymes with again. Good job. Let's read it one more time. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Very good. Who are the main characters in this rhyme? Yeah, Humpty Dumpty, of course, he's the main character. Are there any other characters? Remember that animals in nursery rhymes can also be characters. So what about the king's horses? What about the king's men? Would they be characters also? Yes, they are. You can tell by looking at this picture right here, the king's horses and the king's men were both characters. What was the setting of this story? Remember that the setting is where a story takes place. What is the setting of this story? Where was Humpty at? Humpty Dumpty. You're right, he was up on the wall. So the setting of this story was the wall. And what was the problem in this story? Well, first he fell, right? He had a great fall. That was our first problem. Was there another problem? Yeah, they couldn't put Humpty together again. They couldn't put him together again. That was another big problem. Now, I wonder if maybe that is why Dan Santat wrote this story after the fall. 
I wonder if he wrote that to solve the problem. Did he solve Humpty Dumpty's problem in that story? When you're reading a story, the main part of the story, the main thing that happens in the story is called the plot. Okay? And the plot is what happens in the story. And within the plot, there are characters, a setting, a problem, and a solution. Was there a solution in the nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty? No, there wasn't, was there? There was just a problem. It's just a nursery rhyme, it's not a full story. But was there a solution in After the Fall? Yeah, there was. Do you remember what the solution was? How did Humpty Dumpty solve his problem? In the story, his problem was that he was afraid of heights, right? Once he fell off that wall, he was afraid to get back up again. How did he solve that problem of being afraid? Yeah, he climbed back up on the wall. And then what happened? Something magical happened after he got back up on the wall. His shell started to crack, but not because he was falling. His shell started to crack because he was hatching. He was becoming a bird. Do you think maybe that's why Humpty Dumpty loved birds? Because really he knew deep down inside that he was a bird? I think maybe that was why. Thanks for listening to our run this morning. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.